Today's video on bedroom colors to avoid is brought to you by Mighty Boards. Before you start any paint project, make sure you are equipped with the proper tools. And no, I'm not talking about a paintbrush or a roller. You gotta use a Mighty Board or two or three. Mighty Boards are large, flexible, paintable boards that allow you to test colors properly. Instead of relying on tiny little color swatches that don't really tell you anything, Mighty Boards give you a large paintable board that soak up the paint that you're testing, and then they allow you to get a proper visualization of whatever paint color you're thinking of using. That way you can assess the color properly with your lighting, your flooring, your furniture, your home. Mighty Boards are available in countless locations throughout North America, and if they don't have them at your local paint store, tell the owner, because they should carry Mighty Boards. When it comes to testing your paint colors, go Mighty. I'll leave their information down in the description below if you want to know more about them. We're about to talk about the worst bedroom colors for sleep, and hopefully I don't put you guys to sleep in this video. Well, maybe that'd be a good thing because sleep is very, very good. I thought it'd be interesting today to investigate this topic. I found this article on amerasleep.com, and apparently these guys uh, sell mattresses too, but, uh, but I don't care how comfortable their mattresses are because if your bedroom is painted bright purple, for example, you're probably not gonna fall asleep very well. So what we're we're going to do today in my Raptors hoodie. Big game tonight, everyone. We are going to investigate the five worst paint colors to use in your bedroom. But not only that, I'll tell you which colors you should use instead. And last time I did this, there was someone in the comment section that basically said, your alternatives look nothing like the bad colors. Kind of the point, right? <laughs> This time I tried to find something in a similar kind of vein, but different enough where it'll work. So why don't we start with that bright purple color we talked about. And in this example they give here, it almost looks more like a magenta, which is interesting because Pantone apparently said magenta is the color of the year, which means a color like pre-dawn sky, kind of similar to this lighting I have over here. Not a great color for the bedroom. It's a bit closer to red rather than a true purple. You have that energetic feeling. It's very vibrant, which is not really conducive to a good night's sleep, which is a shame because it's actually very similar to a color I love called mulberry, but maybe not a color you want to use in the room that you sleep in. So an alternative that I found, which I have right here, it's called spring purple. And this takes things into a cooler purple direction, more of a lavender color. We all love lavender. It's great to fall asleep to your essential oils. It's also a bit cooler, a bit more soothing and a bit more gray. So that gray aspect in spring purple gives it a more desaturated feeling to it, which means it's going to feel a little more mellow, a little more neutral. It'll sort of just chill and it'll help you chill as well. This next choice should be no surprise to a lot of you. Dark gray, kind of a huge bummer. Very depressing color, especially dark gray because light gray can at least have some airiness to it, which could be very kind of cloud-like. Dark gray is just two thumbs down because it's a smoky color. It doesn't really have any life to it. It almost feels like you're in a prison cell, I think, which is a bit kind of morbid, but. So a color like stormy sky is probably not ideal for your bedroom, especially as your main wall color. If you had it in little pops here and there, that's fine. A much better alternative to me is something like nocturnal gray, which is a dark gray, but it has a clear color hue in the background or even in the foreground, really. It's a green and blue combination with that deep gray. So it is sort of stormy, but also soothing and a bit spa-like. Teal is always a great choice in bedrooms. I love using teals in the bedroom. This is actually my bedroom color too. So in case you didn't know, I have this currently in my bedroom and it looks amazing. So yeah, if you do like dark grays, maybe have a cooler dark gray, something that has some coloration to it, a little more life. This next color is a bit interesting. It's brown, which is kind of intriguing to me because brown has a connection to nature, which I like. But according to a study that was done in 2018, this shade can increase a subconscious feeling of sadness and restlessness. So maybe you won't notice it, but you're doing yourself a disservice if you have a dark brown painted room. Kind of like the color Rural Earth, which is a deep dark chocolatey brown. It is a bit kind of cool and earthy and grounded, which I normally like, but maybe not in a master bedroom on the walls. I just don't think it'll give you that comforting, cozy feeling you're looking for. It is dark at least, so, it will give you that sort of cave feeling that I do like in bedrooms, but maybe not the right color choice, maybe not the right brown either. The alternative brown that I wanna give you is this one. It's 
It's called Acorn. And what's great about Acorn is it has this almost golden tan-like color. So it has a combination of brown and a bit of that orange, and it just gives you a little more energy. It's a little more nostalgic because as you can see in this photo here, you have this beautiful little luggage case, vintage styles. So it just feels more comforting to me. Yes, it is a little warmer, so it will have a little more of an energetic feeling to it, which maybe you're not looking for for your bedroom color. But I know that that warmth in the morning will really help you wake up and perk up. So that would be my alternative. Instead of a dark brown, maybe a bit of a warmer tan color. This next one is no surprise to me. It's red. Red is an extremely energetic color. It increases your heart rate. It's passionate, it's vibrant. It doesn't really help you sleep though. That's the only problem. Not really a great choice if you're trying to relax and unwind after your day. There's also been studies done to show that red increases your heart rate and gives you like a fight or flight response. So probably not a good choice. Maybe don't go ahead and paint your walls strawberry red which is a perfectly nice red. It's very cutesy, has a little bit of that pinky quality to it. But speaking of pink, why not just go with pink? Like pearly pink, for example. This is a color that is almost blush-like. It has just a touch of orange in it, so it's not a fluorescent kind of bubblegum pink. It's a little softer, just a little more rounded, I would say. And pink is just a very light version of red after all. So you can get that red quality, but in more of an undertone rather than just being in your face. This next color that I wanna show you, it seems like it'd be the perfect choice for a bedroom, especially when you hear its name. It's Twilight Zone, which of course is a black. It's a black paint color, not a dark gray, it's just straight up black. This seems like it'd be a great bedroom color because it's almost simulating blackout curtains, but all over your walls kind of thing. The problem is similar to dark gray, when everything is black in your bedroom, it can create a gloomy feeling. It's also very one note. It'll always look the same. It'll always be dark and kind of shadowy. You're not gonna get any real dimension with it. So a great alternative to this is using black in smaller spurts accent form, maybe on a ceiling, I've seen people do that. Maybe your bed is black, your curtains, certain aspects of it. And then the alternative color that I would put on the walls would be a neutral. A neutral like Collingwood. Tried and true OC-28. This color has a little bit of a reddish purpley undertone, kind of an earthy light mid-tone color. Extremely chill and casual color that's not gonna pull focus, it's just gonna blend in the background. And then any black components that you put on top of it will really pop and stand out prominently. Collingwood is one of my favorite neutrals to recommend, and we talked about it in this video right over here if you wanna check it out.